Hello friends and welcome to a shot of code. Today we're going to be looking at Parcel.js. Uh, now Parcel.js is a bundle app similar to your webpacks, uh, browser files, rollups, etc. Um, but what it does, um, is slightly different, is that it is truly zero config. Um, whether you're including CSS um, or JavaScript or images, whether you're doing CSS processing or um, transformations from ES6 to ES5. It's got all of these um, standard type of activities pre-configured. Um, so there is no need to write any config at all. Um, so quite quite different there to, um, to certainly Webpack. Um, best bet, let's just jump in. You know, I, I've got the website here for parceljs.org. Um, if you want to get this installed, you need to come to there, click on the Get Started button, um, and then run an npm install minus g to add this um, globally to your computer, and then you'll be able to run the parcel um, uh, command from your command line. Um, so I'm not going to run it now because I've got it installed already. It takes, it takes a couple of minutes. Um, but let's go into Visual Studio Code here. Uh, and try and show what uh, what this can do for us. Um, so if I create a very simple um, web page here, and we just have that there, I'll just take the style sheet out for the moment. And we'll just bundle um, a main.js um, into our file to start with. So let's say um, parcel.js demo. And we'll save that one off. Uh, and then create this main.js. And we'll just have it log out. Um, not local storage, no, log. Just have it log out just to show that that file is working. Um, so if I just bring this one over to the right from there. Should be able to get it looking a little nicer. Okay, so let's split this screen so you can see. Um, so we've got an index HTML that includes main.js. Now with Parcel, um, you can have anything as your entry point. Um, it can be um, JavaScript, the CSS, anything. Um, it's nice to be able to add the HTML page as our entry point. Unlike Webpack, which at the moment you're kind of generally starting with your JavaScript page, um, which means you don't get your live upload as well on your index page unless you use uh, HTML Webpack plugin, so you know more config there just to get this basic stuff set up. You know, with Parcel, I can type Parcel and index.html. Um, that will look through that file, look for its dependencies and then its dependencies, and that will build out for us um, our HTML page and a bundled JavaScript file. Um, and it's started up a, um, a live refresh um, web server automatically. So we can see our console log there, main.js, um, and see how quick it is when I save as well. It is a very quick, um, it does a lot of caching, um, which I think is how it manages that. You know, the first build, maybe, maybe not super quick, but um, all the live reloads from there. Um, so if I do save, it let me down. <laughs> I'm in. I'm into this one. If I do um, put a two there and wait for it, and I'm going to do a save now, then it's up there immediately. Um, so yeah, pretty good there. Um, okay, let's look at uh, just to show that it is bundling these files. Let's um, say we import. Um, say we've got a file utils. JS. Um, if I just create that, 
here and have that just console log out. So we save that off. Um, down here, I don't know if you noticed, but it's it rebuilt it as soon as we saved. So it's watching these files. Um, and now we can see our two console logs. So uh, both of those are being run. Um, but if we look in the network, you can see we've still only got the one um, file there. So it's bundled main.js and utils.js into this, this single file for us, which is obviously um, going to help with performance on bringing the application down. All right. Um, so let's, let's do the CSS now. Uh, again, we're not going to need to write any configuration here. Um, so if I create a new main.css and in there let's say body background color orange and give that a save uh, right so it's still building at the moment I think is it so there, yeah again that first build um, sometimes not that quick eight seconds on that one but from there on uh, if I change something in here now say I put it to some horrible yellow and when I click save then 48 milliseconds so you know that caching certainly speeds things up very nicely just get rid of that because that's pretty horrible uh, okay so there is um, pulling in our JavaScript pulling in CSS um, now you can do um, other built-in things without any config so it will do post CSS processing for you um, and Babel con um, transformation and um, post HTML and the way it does it then um, rather than you having to learn the config for parcel.js it's going to be looking for the config files for those packages so if you've got a post CSS package uh, a config file in there it's going to detect that and use that for you so that that sort of knowledge you would already have you know from post CSS or post HTML um, so you have got to learn something new there I quite I quite like that idea of you know you got that knowledge already and you don't need to learn a new config file uh, fun though it was learning webpack I mean once you know it it's it's okay ish but it's a, it's a lot of work um, and in this you know in this scenario we don't need to do that now um, so there you go that's the, um, that's the basics of uh, parcel.js I'll probably do a couple more because it um, uh, it can um, automatically pull in things for when you're doing a react app or a view app I was very good at that I'll do a separate video on that though um, and also on its uh, dynamic loading um, so there you go. I hope that was useful. Um, if you're going to be interested in those upcoming videos, then uh, click the subscribe button there. Uh, thanks very much. Bye.